What's up guys, it's your boy Flame. Welcome to the Call of Duty Mobile video. And in this video, I'm going to be giving you SMG tips and tricks in order to elevate your SMG skills in COD Mobile. And we're going to start right now. The first step is SMGs are meant to be played close range. Whether you're playing aggressive and slaying out opponents at their spawns or holding down objectives, always remember that SMGs shine the most when you're using them close range. This means you have to choose gunfights wisely. Always remember not to challenge gunfights you think you won't be able to win, like a Holger sitting in a head glitch, a sniper camping so far away, or any player that's within mid to long range territory because that will put yourself in a disadvantage. There's a reason why SMGs have fast ADS, fast fire rate, and excellent mobility. That's because it's best used in head to head gunfights. Now in head-to-head -head gunfights, this is where you'll shine the most. There are three things that you have to remember. First, when you're the one pushing to the enemy, say for example a hard point or their territory, you have to challenge first. In this game, if you didn't know by now, there's a split second delay before an enemy sees you appearing into a corner. You will see them first if you're the one pushing. This is called peeker's advantage. Now the way you put this into your advantage is if you're already pre-aimed to a position you think an opponent will be. Now once you get that first shot, it's almost always a guarantee that you'll get the frag. Second, if the enemy is the one pushing you, try to hear their footsteps and before they appear in a corner, try to pre-aim and pre-fire so that you get the first shot. The common denominator of these two points is that you always need to pre-aim. Third, try to use movement to make your opponents miss. What I usually use is strafing or moving side to side and jump shooting while strafing. I rarely use drop shot because it makes it harder for you to maneuver, especially if you're engaging more than one opponent. When you're using an SMG, it doesn't necessarily mean that you always have to play aggressive and run to their spawns. Trust me, you'll die a lot if you do that. You can always put yourself in a position where the fights that you will be taking are close range ones. And this is where our second tip comes in. In order to survive, you must learn how to rotate and position. A quick basic rule you can use is this. Whenever you've fragged out two or three enemies from a position, you need to rotate somewhere else. That's because your opponents would have a general idea of where you are and will try to take you out. Now that somewhere else doesn't necessarily mean that you'll be out in the open. This only means you're going to reposition in the map where you will put yourself in a power position. Rotating and positioning are vital to SMGs because you're always in close range gunfights, meaning there's less room for error for you because your enemies know exactly where you are. Another side tip so that you don't die a lot is don't reload out in the open. Try to use cover or reload in a safe spot before re-engaging in a gunfight. Chances are, if you reload out in the open, your enemies will catch you off guard. Another cue when to rotate is when you're already low in HP. This should serve as a cue for you to dip that position and run for cover. This is why when you're playing with an SMG, it's always best to have the quick fix perk equipped so that you can continuously play aggressive. I run this in almost all of my loadouts, I don't mind shooting down UAVs. Lastly on positioning, if you want to close the gap between you and an opponent so far out, try to use cover such as smoke grenades to put yourself in a better position to use your weapon. If you're playing aggressive, try to use any cover and be creative in your rush routes so that you're not out in the open and get taken out easily. Sometimes when playing aggressive, patience is key. The third tip is you need to learn how to hip fire. This is such an underrated thing in COD Mobile multiplayer and probably because players are afraid to miss their shots even if they are missing shots. Got <laughs> But hip firing, especially in point blank ranges, makes it harder for enemies to hit you and makes you react faster in close range gunfights. You will get that first shot in. A lot of pro players use hip fire to their advantage because in close range gunfights, it's better to make yourself react faster and make it harder for opponents to hit you. My tip for you in order to really master this is to have only one firing button which is set to hip fire by default and manually scope in using the ADS button. Most if not all pro players use this technique to their advantage because your shots come out faster as opposed to using the ADS to fire button. This is because the ADS to fire button needs to finish the entire ADS animation before bullets come out of your weapon. In this game, reaction time is a major key. 
it might take some time to get used to but it will be all worth it my fourth tip for you is you need to learn how to play with higher sensitivity and if possible gyroscope since you're using an smg and you'll always be in close range gunfights your reaction time is crucial because when an enemy moves you need to react fast now if you're playing with a low sensitivity it will be harder for you to react faster because it takes multiple swipes before you refocus your aim but if you're playing with higher sensitivity, you allow yourself to react faster because your sensitivity is fast enough to catch opponents. These are my sensitivity settings as you can see on your screen. Another technique in close range gunfights is using gyroscope. This is where you tilt your phone side to side, up or down to move your aim. Personally, I use gyroscope especially in close range gunfights to have that micro adjustments to my aim. As you can see in this example, I tilted my phone to the left in order to catch the opponent and thus getting the frag. 